what you know, two that to the bombs. Borrow today and regret to the tomorrow. Seems to be the wisdom the government and the people have been living on. According to the Ministry of Economy and Finance and the Bank of Korea, the sum of government and the household debt has tipped the over the milestone of 3,000 trillion won, 2.2 trillion dollars. The exact balance came to 3,042 trillion won by the end of June. 127 percent above the country's nominal GDP of 2,400 trillion won last year. What will happen if the debt surge doesn't stop? On the national level, it will translate into chronic red ink in the fiscal balance. Southern European countries are the latest example of this. A number of them ran into a fiscal disaster in the early 2010s after heedless populist spending to upgrade social benefits to the likes of their richer northern counterparts. Politicians vied with welfare schemes until their national coppers ran out of money. Greece said it was pushed to a national default the crisis due to fiscal bankruptcy. The wages of people of all ranks came down. Public pension benefits that were rolled back, followed by the suspension of national health care coverage. Portals showed dysentery, the drastic risks rummaging through garbage bins in search for food. The Greek lesson was a rude awakening that there is indeed no such thing as a free lunch. A debt-financed economy is no different from a castle built on sand. The Yun administration earns Kudos for keeping to fiscal tightening for three consecutive years to contain the debt the balance, which stretched by more than 400 trillion won under the previous Moon administration. Fiscal integrity is a must, not a choice, for Korea as the country lacks the tourism resources like Greece or oil to sell like at Venezuela. The rationally for fiscal stimuli to kickstart the lethargic economy had some ground. Fiscal spending serves as the priming water to fuel life into an economy in stagnation, but one-time cash handouts like a 250,000 one paycheck to every citizen cannot help. If cash stimuli are deemed necessary, they should selectively go to the most needy, as suggested by Gyeonggi Governor Kim Dong-yeon and the former Prime Minister Kim bu kyum Politicians must look beyond the populist gimmicks, cash giveaways won't be needed if jobs are created and the economy can gain, gain impetus when companies return home after moving their manufacturing bases overseas due to stifling regulation at home. But the legislature stubbornly refused to turn toward this direction. The bill enabling support to the economy's pillar, chip industry also has been pushed aside amid partisan divide. Personal debt has been amassing to dangerous levels. Household debt neared 1,900 trillion won by the end of June. It has been snowballing this year amid expectation for rate lowering in Korea, 
after monetary shift in the United States. For instance, a newlywed in their twenties bought an apartment in Seoul for 1.5 billion won in June through a mortgage loan of 1 billion won on top of their savings of 200 million won and 300 million won gifted from their parents. As much as 6% of home buyers in the first half of the year borrowed more than 1 billion won. Anyone is free to, to buy a home through loans for a richer lifestyle and returns in the future. But individual discretionary choices do not always serve the good of the nation. Home prices skyrocketed in Japan during the peak of the asset bubbles in 1989. Japan even lent out loans by factoring in the future appreciation of home prices. The upshot had been dear and lengthy 30 years of economic stagnation and the swarms of uninhabited homes. Given the neglect of the legislature in low making for future industrial growth. Korea is on the path to a slower motion economy. Returns from real estate investment cannot be great. Uh, given the world's lowest fertility rate and the fastest aging pace, the construction industry project, home prices will go downhill from 2040, after the growth in single-unit households pick out, the property miss is coming to an end. Landing excessively could be a suicidal move.